I was always afraid of dogs. As irrational as it may sound, and for no good reason at all, I wanted nothing to do with them. I was that girl that ran across the street in order to avoid being in the presence of a dog. Moving traffic seemed like the safer option. But as I grew older, I learned to appreciate them, and when my best friend got a dog, I even learned to love them. As an out-of-state student, I learned there was a lot of things that I missed from back home, such as having a responsibility and feeling needed. I have three younger siblings who mean the world to me, and being there for them was a very big part of my life. So when I learned of Terps Raising Pups, I knew I needed to join. This is a student-led volunteer program that raises and trains puppies for the Guide Dog Foundation. As a member of the organization, I get to learn about the Guide Dog Foundation while filling the void that I was missing and gaining skills such as patience and time management. As stated on the Terps Raising Pups website, we are the second largest campus to raise dogs for the Guide Dog Foundation and we take pride in making sure that our dogs are successful. Prior to getting a dog, a student must take six classes to start their training and maintain it by taking three additional classes a month. Once you're cleared by the area coordinators to start your application, you're able to become either a sitter or a raiser. The difference between a sitter and a razor is that a sitter watches the dogs from time to time to help the razor out while the razor watches the dog 24-7. However, since we are college students, the foundation requires us to have a co-razor in the beginning. We get the dogs when they are 8 weeks old and they are sent back for intensive training when they are 14 months. Our training follows the Guide Dog Foundation manual. When I first got my dog, I had to make sure to read that manual like it was the Bible. I needed to know everything that I was saying. As stated on the Guide Dog Foundation, we prioritize our training around socialization, good house manners, relieving routine, and ensuring success. We train our puppies using clicker training, but instead of a clicker, we use the marker word nice. And whenever we say the word nice, we have to treat our puppies. They are very food motivated. Over the course of having Charlie, I learned a lot about myself. While there were times that I felt like I I took in too much than I can handle, I knew I made the right decision by having him. He has taught me to wake up early in the morning as he needs to go to the bathroom. I've learned time management since I needed to make sure to get all my work done and to work around his schedule. I've learned patience as sometimes it takes him a really long time to go down the stairs as he's scared of them and I needed to give him a lot of motivation to keep on going. But every day I get to see that he's becoming a better guide dog. The cape that he wears, his guide dog vest, is a superhero cape. It is so important and I know that he will become a better guide dog and lead the visually impaired and blind. The Guiding Eyes website states that only 2% of visually impaired and blind have a guide dog. It is important that we keep raising them and and spreading awareness of the guide dogs. Terps Racing Pups gave me opportunity to fill the void that I was missing in my college experience. I am able to train a dog that is going to make a huge difference in someone's life while learning so much from them and becoming a better person. I guess moving traffic was not the safest option.